How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron from ConeDog.com. We're live from the Samsung event uh, just before IFA in Berlin. Live from a big, showy, awesome event, complete with magic tricks and some tricks up their sleeves as well when it comes to Samsung as a company. Here's the Samsung Ative tab, and this thing is running Windows 8, and you got to be honest, with Windows RT. And I'll be honest with you, I have never played with this. First time I've worked with a Windows, any, any type of Windows 8 or Windows RT based stuff, which you can see here, and I'm going to be a little bit of a noob when it comes to this stuff. But spec wise, let me give you a rundown 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU, it's a 10.1 inch display, has a 5 megapixel camera uh, on the back with an autofocus as you can see back there, and then you've got Windows Live, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all that good stuff, integration there, and as you can see up here, a team tab, it's logged in, I can lock it, sign out, change the account picture, uh, and more, and then I can go into Internet Explorer, actually let's go into Messaging for example, and you can see, connected to, over here, Windows, and then connected to Facebook as well, but you can see the interface, very clean, kind of an evolution of Windows Phone 7, uh, over onto the tablet side, over onto the computer side, the netbook side, etc. You've got a physical home button, which is going to be really hard to see in this low lighting. You've got to love that they do that with these events. Really low lighting. But you've got your calendar stuff here. I'm just going to walk through some of the applications on this device so you can take a look. Uh, and got uh, August or Augusto, family in Spanish. You've got messaging. you got your desktop right here, as you can see. And I can access the desktop and go into Internet Explorer, Windows, and more. And then go into Word 2013, for example, uh, and move from there. So all in all, very functional device. Feels a lot like the Galaxy Tab 10.1, but much smaller and thinner uh, is the immediate feeling that I'm getting from this. So that was the desktop picture. Weather, and again, much like Windows Phone 7, it looks to be kind of customizable. You have the ability to kind of change things around, move around as you see fit. Modify like that. Take a look at maps as well. Take a look, here's USA. Phone Dog Charlotte, we'll bring that up. Take a look at that. I don't know if we're connected to Wi-Fi or not. Might not be connected. But you can see some of the different applications that are running. Internet Explorer, we'll take a quick look at that. You can see browser bar down here in the bottom. You've got all your settings down here. Refresh, pivot, and of course your settings as well. And then over on this side, games, camera, music, video, and then your Word stuff, Samsung apps, and more. You've got chat on Family Story, Music Hub, Box, and then you got Bing, SkyDrive. So it's all about connectivity. It's all about integration between the platforms. And Samsung made a good point about between tablets, PCs, netbooks, smartphones. They've got the ability to create a very interesting ecosystem here. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Samsung does in the coming months and coming years with the ecosystem around Windows. We're going to get that one second. DJ, the refresh rates are waiting. So that could be exciting for you. Should I go get a drink? Of yeah. atmosphere, bring lots of energy, and do not forget to rediscover the products that you have been enjoying this entire evening. Thank you so much for being here, and have fun. And there you go. So, on that note, I'm off to get a drink and take a look at the keyboard here as well. They're telling me to get a drink. I think I'm going to listen to them. It's been a long day. I've had no sleep. It's been full of meetings, events, and things like that. And uh, needless to say, I'm a little tired. But this is the Samsung T Tab coming soon. And a tablet product running Windows from Samsung. Live from Berlin. And Aaron from PhoneDog.com. Keep it locked inside for continuing coverage of all things mobile in Germany. We'll see you next time.